Let's look at a pre-configured purchase order project. But before we do that, let's remind ourselves how we start creating a purchase order project. So we can simply click File, New Project, and under the project types, one of the project types is Orders. And here we'll open up the document definition. And we'll go to Document Definition Properties. And we'll take a look at datasets. Three datasets have already been added to this particular purchase order project. As you know, dataset information improves data detection rates. But if no master data is available, field data can be extracted via neural networks. The variance dataset has a list of buyers, that is, the creators of the ingested purchase orders. The business unit dataset has a list of issuers, that is, the recipients of the purchase order. And the articles dataset has a list of purchase order article numbers. Now let's recognize some documents. I'll just close out of the document definition. No changes were made, so we can just close out. Go to our working batches, create a new batch, and load some images. And the images are added and then recognized. And now that recognition is done, we can go ahead and open the batch. And we'll start by opening the first document. Note that business unit and buyer field groups were recognized correctly with the help of data sets. And we can expand these groups to see details. Remember that the field groups ship to and build to are extracted only with neural networks. There are no corresponding data sets. The address data is captured as a whole paragraph. So let's see what that looks like. So here we don't have city, street, and zip code separation. And also note that bill to addresses can be absent from purchase order documents. Purchase orders are built on the same principles as invoices. So similarly, line items are extracted from tables with differing structures. The article BU is an important line item. That field data matches the article number in the business unit's database. It can also be known as product number, article code, or product code, and there's other variants. If we go to this third document, we can see that the order date field was not captured correctly. Purchase orders, just like invoices, can be trained via either administrator or operator input. Training is available for all fields except ship to and bill to. Let's train one of these fields as an administrator. To do that, we'll go to the field extraction training batch, and we'll create a new batch and we'll select the Order Documents section. That's available for training. And then we will select Creepy Graphics variant from the list, and we'll load some images. So these images are added and recognized automatically. Next, we need to specify the correct capture region for the order date field on these documents. So I can make an adjustment here. That looks good. And on the second document, looks good. And now I can perform training.
Now that that's complete, I can go back to my working batch. And I could either re-recognize the entire batch, or I'll just go to the creepy graphics, and I will re-recognize those. And opening up the document, we can now see that order date was successfully found.